Okay, we're trying this again. I recorded for half an hour um, a voiceover for this video, but unfortunately my phone had a massive giggle and decided not to save the video. So here we go again. So, um, this is my most recent 2K trial. As you can tell by the title, it didn't go too well, despite the start looking alright. It wasn't a very good start, to be honest. I knew that as soon as I passed like the first 80 meters. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is and you just kind of carry on. So, by this point, you know that we're about... 250 in and yeah come up here whoopsie so, uh, come up to the first 500 it was feeling pretty good um, yeah the I was still holding this place I needed to and rate was okay I think it went down to about 28 29 by about this point it's worth noting that rate is a very prominent issue with my trials and basically any other piece to be honest where i have to hold a high rate so that's pretty evident here um so as you will probably see as you Oh. Sorry, I yawned a lot less in the other recording. This one is just late in the afternoon and yeah, meh. Okay, so let's get back to it. By this point, it's about coming up to the 750 mark. And yeah, the rate's coming down to about 26, I think. Um, in terms of splits, it's still pretty on. I think it was about 144 at this point, which is fine. My average was about 142, around about here. Uh, so I had room for some cheapest, can you not? Uh, yeah, so I had room to let slide up because my goal for this was to get 143 nine average not pushing pb just trying to set a new season pb because yeah my season trials so far have not come out very well uh yeah my stay state seems to come out all right but trials they tend to come out pretty bad just because I'm not particularly good at them. Anyway. Uh, you can see on my face by about this point. That it's starting to hurt quite a bit. I think this is about coming up to the 1k mark. It's pretty sore. Uh, if not just past the 1k point. Uh, the rate slipped to about 26. Average split went up to about 146. 144 even. There was somewhere between that. And I almost gave up at that point just because I knew I didn't have it in me to kind of make that massive push at the end to get the split back down to a 130s, maybe even 120s, because that's kind of what you need to get that split down, like eight seconds. Um... So, anyway, uh, very shortly after this, you'll see me basically peg completely because mentally it wasn't really going very well for me. I just got weak there and the split slipping a bit and me not having the energy to get my rate up, it was getting to me. So around about here, I think it was about rate 24 even. 
148 split and yeah it was just fading fast and I knew there really wasn't any coming back from that and so I think about here yeah round about there is when I when I just basically let it slip to like two thirties or something because yeah I didn't see a point in just trying to get that back to sub 143.9 because there was no way I was going to hit a new season PB. Uh, for context, season PB thus far is a 655.6, uh, which is a 143.9, I think. Um, I will post that at the end of the video. It's like, I'll just put, put the screenshot up if I can. Uh, if I can't, I do apologize. I am new to editing. So, yeah, if I can, then cool. If not, then, yeah, sauce mates. Uh, anyway, back to the 2K. You'll see that I kind of took it back up a little bit. It's still only at about rate 27, 28. But, yeah, I just thought, okay, let me try to get sub 7 at least, just to kind of make it almost good enough. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. I think anything sub seven would have been satisfactory. Not good enough, but satisfactory. So around about here we're coming up to the last little bit and I thought, okay, try to take the rate up, bring the power. So I think it was coming at about one forty fours, one forty twos. And then slipped to about 146s, and the average was uh, by this point because of that 236 or whatever, 240s. Um, it was at like 149, so I was just trying to eat it back. So by the time I got to the last 300, I didn't have much in me, but the splits were coming all right. So last 100, took the rate up to I think like 28 or something try to get over 30 but just really didn't have it and then just squeezed out as much as I could it didn't have much left as you'll see but yeah as you can see now I am not very tired obviously pegging quite a bit but not not entirely out of it Damn, I've got no legs. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think my main issue with this particular piece was that I did it too late for one. So it was too late in the afternoon slash evening. So I just didn't have the energy for it. Yeah, oh, wait a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Just a reminder that this voice note, not the, no, this voiceover had to be done just because the original audio contained my, my 2K playlist, which is, which is obviously song, the couple, a group of songs, which would probably give me copyright strikes and I do not feel like getting <laughs> my videos taken down or my channel for that matter uh, so not risking it the video this video should go up either way um, the other one at this point but when I recorded the last voice and it was at the last voice of it was 26% in right now. Sorry, just well, bear with me. The wild loads 51% uploaded. Uh, yeah, anyway, while this has my screen up, you'll see that my splits came out to nowhere near my target, 
and time came to 7.15.6, I think. Uh, 20 seconds off goal time. So not particularly pleased. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so if you always saw it. Um, yeah. It wasn't a great piece overall. Yeah, between it being so late, the windows being closed, as you might see, might have seen. Um, the I have my blinds closed. Okay, let me first explain that. Uh, with my blinds closed, I cannot open my windows because my windows have this mechanism where the handle kind of needs to tilt up, which means that I cannot have the blinds down with the windows open. I didn't want to, um, yeah, uh, disturb the neighbors either. So kept the windows closed, kept the blinds closed, and yeah, so lack of air late in the evening, so not very much energy. And not particularly hyped for this PC that I was pretty pretty much dreading it. Uh, so going into it it wasn't the best <laughs> in terms of mindset. But yeah, just got on it and try to get it done. Uh sorry, there's nothing you want to come. Oh my gosh, I do apologize for that. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so here you just see me rambling on about stuff I cannot remember at this point. Uh, I was pretty much not wrecked at this point, just more very upset with myself for not getting that time that I set out to get. So after this 2k I punished myself with another five 2ks and then a three kilometer cooldown. So basically including my warm up and the 2k that you see in this video I think I did about six or seven 2ks. Uh, and then excluding the warm up and warm down, which is three kilo, three kilometers each. So yeah, um, yeah. Just when I don't hit my my goal for a day, then I it's not the best. It's not the best feeling. So obviously, I'm not gonna take it too well. My way of coping with it is to just push myself a little bit harder after the piece, whether it be in the cooldown or just, yeah, showing my body how much energy it had left to give in that piece. Uh, and hopefully I come out to being productive for the next one because I'd be just a shattered anyway so might as well get to that point uh, and so <sighs> sorry again uh, also I'd record this another time just I do not feel like recording this again and it just not going not saving again because remember it's half an hour of recording at a time I cannot do much else during this time because I have to comment on my video as it goes along as it plays which means it's a half hour that I'm never going to get back and if it's wasted um, by just putting all that effort in and then it just 
not going anywhere. That's half an hour that you'll never get back. Talking valuable life lessons here. Yeah. The point is cherish your time. You can't. So, what I've been doing recently, completely unrelated, uh, but just as the video loops again, uh, I've been treating the erg sessions like my water sessions down in Sigfle with my crew. So, as I said, Sigfle is my where my crew trains. Basically, so Sigufle is this essentially a lake in Cape Town, South Africa, where we, where my crew and several other uh, rowing clubs do our training. So how it works is there is a system uh, where everyone has to row clockwise around the play. A flaming lake, and so like to avoid collisions. Of course, um, the main straights are two kilometers up, two kilometers down. That's the main length of the lake, and it's about one point five kilometers across. But usually, when we're just doing the miles for as much as for as much distance as we can. We will do two kilometers up the main straight, uh, turn row about 200, 250 meters, and then turn, go back up the straight. Same thing on the other side, up, down, up, down, up, down, as many times as we can within a set period of time. Or just a set number of loops or we have a set distance so knowing that that is two kilometers i'll have mental checkpoints uh, which i've now transferred to the erg so i almost replicated saying that okay my warm-up is coming out of the boathouse as we put the boat down it is rowing let's say about 30 meters out of out away from the jetty into the bay and then turning. Then it's about 1.1k, 1.2k is up to the top of the straight. And then we turn there and then go down. As my warm up is three kilometers, I'll imagine myself rowing out of the, out of that little den kind of, what's the word? Then it's probably the closest to correct that we'd get. Uh, and rowing that 1k up as the first kilometer and then one one straight down. Then turn around at my first piece, where there'd be a 2k race piece, a 2k trial. I'll be imagining that as either going up that straight again and then kind of applying the same effort as I would on the water just to know about how hard I'd be pulling. Uh, For context, I do not have a stroke coach uh, in the boat, which is basically a speedometer or just tracks your speed, your rate, just everything, and gives you live feedback, real-time feedback of your performance. So you can kind of just pace yourself and know if you need to push harder or ease it back a bit. You'd see in every Olympic or World Championship event and a fair number of uh, local events or nationals, they would have a lot of them on the boats so that they, the crews can pace themselves because uh, they will have they'll have a goal time and they'll know exactly when they need to pull to be able to get that time. And the plan may change in the race as other crews will form a little bit differently and they need to change the game plan, but most crews will stick to the game plan. Or at least a few. (laughs) To be honest, not every crew has them. So 
yeah, a lot of the times just played by ear. You look across, you see the other crews, and you just you race, and that's it. Um, yeah. Also, I do have to apologize for not putting the splits up on the screen. I do not have a stand that I can put my phone onto uh, to be able to record the screen. Uh, so, right now, this is the best I can do because this is resting on my charging stand. I do not have anything else either that I can kind of prop the phone onto to just kind of give you a live feed of the screen. Not a live feed, just as it goes along, yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully soon I can gather up some savings and just get one of those stands. And maybe a proper camera for higher quality recording and yeah I can provide a little bit better content but for now I do apologize this is all I've got uh, but yeah so I'm just trying to remember what I said in that last voiceover cheap as I said so much <laughs> um, Anyway, let's go through the discrepancies of why this piece is so particularly bad. Obviously, there's that bit of it being 20 seconds off the goal time that I'd set for this piece. Because the goal pace was 143.9 and the average was not 143.9 by the end. Um... 6.55, which is the time that comes out to, is not my all-time PB. Um, it is my season PB, and I'm trying to work that back down, because I don't think my crew believes that I can pull my PB, my all-time PB. Uh, so I just kind of need to prove that to them. Uh, my all-time PB, for context, is 6.35.4. So, yeah, my season PB is 20 seconds off that. Um, and I think that's a little bit, that's, that's pretty bonkers how unfit I've gotten and how weak I've gotten. As you can see in this video, I have no legs left my muscle mass is not very present especially in the legs uh i've never really been one to have legs which is which makes that 635 a little bit more astonishing at that because okay let's talk about that 635 for a second that's 635. Back then, I weighed 77.2, 77.4, maybe 77.8. It was somewhere about there. It was somewhere in the 77th. Because uh, it was definitely between 76 and 78. Uh, that was my, my season fluctuation when I got that time. Was anywhere between... 74 and even down to 72.9 at some point uh up to 80 even 81 for a short bit uh my coach wanted me to weigh a good 70 maybe 72 but i told them that i wouldn't be able to generate proper times with that kind of weight or properly good time. I could, I was fairly fit and fairly strong considering my weight, 
but I still have no legs. Uh, basically, that time that I pulled was with my old technique. My old technique consisted of mainly upper body. I'll talk about this in another video. I, but let's just to summarize it for now. I, for the last seven years, seven years before now, uh, so seven of eight years, maybe nine, uh, of my rowing, I rode mainly upper body. I couldn't engage my legs no matter how much my coaches tried <laughs> to help. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll put that into another video in full explanation if I do remember. Uh, also, I forgot to add this in. I was meant to add a map of Zucufle. I just to kind of show what it looks like, the circuit that we row. Uh, I'll try to put it into the video if I can. If I don't know how, then I do apologize. If I can't find one, uh, but yeah. We, I'm fairly, again, I'm fairly new to editing, video editing, so my knowledge of how to do stuff is a little bit eh and so i'll do what i can and hopefully with time it gets a little bit better uh so yeah let's see i can maybe add that in at about but yeah i'm gonna have to review this voiceover just to kind of see where i need to add that in i think maybe just after the first bit, which means you would have seen it already. So, yeah. Basically, that's all about that. There's, there was definitely more I wanted to talk about in this. Uh, but, yeah, I forgot it, most of the things I said in my previous voiceover. Just because I was very 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 frustrated that i recorded for over half an hour <laughs> and my phone just decided not to save it which is very bleak anyway yeah so i'm gonna need to think of something because i need to fill in these last three minutes or so because I do need the watch time and I pre-made the video. Uh, but yeah. So, oh wait, that's what I needed to talk about. Um, my all-time PB is that 635.4. But my season goal for now is a 648. Which is not too far off from where I am now at a 655. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's doable. I just need to build up my leg strength, which is coming along. I did a seven stroke max test. Uh, I think a few days ago, and it came out to a 116, I think. Uh, all time PBs of seven stroke maxes for more context are back in high school I did a 117 most of the time uh, but when I got my strength up quite a bit I pulled a 113 after that, no wait, was it even high school? Um, yeah, when I was still in high school, I, I pulled a 107 as well. So I've pulled 107s, 109s, 113s. But my absolute lowest ever 
I yanked a 103. It didn't stay on the screen for very long, <laughs> but there was a 103. Uh, luckily enough, I managed to catch it on the <laughs> on my screen, like as the last stroke. So I do have a picture of that if it is disputed. <laughs> Um, hopefully I can work my way back up to that kind of strength again. It's not something I can hold for a very long time, not at all, but it is a 103. Uh, hopefully when I get my leg strength up again, I can hold the splits a lot easier. Right now, fastest dude in my crew, he pulled a 609 recently. Uh... And we're all hectically proud of him for that. I'm going to try to be hunting that when I do get my strength up. It's pretty laughable, but I, I read I can do it. Uh, I just need to get bonkersly fit. Uh, my main issue is rate. So rate is something I struggle with in basically all my pieces. And it's something I know that I need to work on. Uh, so that is what I will be working on for the foreseeable future, holding high rates. Hopefully we'll get to the point where I can hold 34 for the whole piece, but right now I struggle to hold 28. Um, yeah. So with that, I'm going to end the voiceover. Uh, if I forgot anything... I will have to make another video on that because today's been a very frustrating day so I need to just get my mind back on par and then I will try to remember what I left out and make another video on that but thus far this is my longest video and I think that's good because I do need the watch time. I don't expect people to watch it all the way through. But I do appreciate it if you do. Uh, yeah. I'm very far from being monitored. <laughs> from being able to get monetized. Uh, thanks, Brian. Uh, so, yeah. I... To be able to get monetized, you need a certain number of subscribers and you need a certain number of watch hours, neither of which I am close to. So, I do not ask you to follow or watch my videos in their entirety, but I do appreciate it if you do, and I'd like to say thank you if you do either of those or both. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, and anyway, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna end the video here, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will post a better, more upbeat video very soon. Have a wonderful day!